What'd you guys think of the debate? That was kind of the biggest thing, I guess, that's happened. Um, thoughts? More rigged than wrestling. Yeah, it was like three on one. I love. And then finding out, out she was that, uh, his her. She was Kamala yes. Harris's sorority sister. <laughs> that's what I was just about to say. Yeah. Like, actually, wrestling's more realistic because even when it's three on one, even Hulk Hogan has a chance to win. Yeah. Right. He so. up, right. Mm-hmm. The thing that I didn't like was the fact that they were debating him, but also fact checking him. And when she, cause she dropped so many lies, man. Mm-hmm. And, and uh, they didn't, they, you know, move on, move along. Nothing to see mm-hmm. here. It's just, it's so, I don't know. I, it, to I, me, it's just rigged. I really like the comment where she made the comment, like there's no U S troops fighting anymore. And then these uh, troops <laughs> oh, in Syria yes. filmed it. And they're like, Wait, they forgot about us. Where the, where the fuck are we I then, think I got say? that. Yeah. Let me see if I. That was I, great. I, I love that. Where the fuck are they're, we then? They're basically yeah. like Kevin from Home Alone. They've just been yeah, forgotten. They realize they got left. There. <laughs> I guess I didn't bookmark that. Why wow. didn't I bookmark that? I, I guess I nobody uh, nobody should have been surprised that was going to happen. They already knew the answers. They pre-planned what was going to happen, so they were ready to fact check it. I mean. I wasn't surprised the way that turned out. Um, Trump did good by not melting down. And then Kamala, I'll give her credit. She didn't do too much of that weird cackle thing, which. Here it is. I got yeah, it. here it is. The only thing I don't understand with her flash, and all of you guys could tell me, when she does this thing where she's got her hand under her, ch- her like fist under her chin, but like she's not resting her uh, arm on anything. So she's just like it's so like she's, she's in just, the air. Like, yeah, it's like she's, she's like punching herself yeah, yeah. in the air. I, I know That's what that is. Sean. Weird. That's an awkwardness. That's yeah. like you know uh, Ricky Bobby when he's like, I don't know what to do with my hands. Yeah. yeah. You know that that's what that is. To be okay. fair, that kind of happens. That kind of happens when I'm on here because, like, when I'm doing mm-hmm. our show, my you know I'm mm-hmm. running Stream Deck. Well, I'm doing two other things at once. Here, I'm just like, what the hell do I do with my hands? Yeah, well, yeah. That's why I fill this with water so I have something yeah. to do. <laughs> What do you think about that? So I we'll have to put it in the conspiracy until, you know, it's, it's ever confirmed, which I doubt will ever happen. But did you see that uh, people were comparing her earrings to these pearl uh, those, headsets? Yeah. Those aren't, ear? I think that's not true. Yeah. The thing that I did notice though, was in the rules, they weren't allowed notes. Apparently, like I, I don't understand she why had you notes have for that sure. rule. But she, you, while they were talking, she's sitting there writing. Like, what I think is hilarious she, is they got the answer or the questions ahead of time, and those were the best answers she could come up with. Yeah, mm-hmm. she had a, it. It felt like she was scripted in her answers. I, I do think that she got the mm-hmm. the questions before this happened. The funny can't thing prove is, it, somebody right, like but, her somebody like her needs to actually be coached like oh let's sit down and role play this debate right Mm -hmm. whereas trump probably didn't do anything like that like i don't think he does any prep well (laughs) i I think he just walks in i hope i'm i'm scared for him though because laura loomer supposedly like in his inner circle (laughs) right now and that is the scariest goddamn thing in the world to me right now have you guys saw the picture she's She's like a wild one oh god she's a weird woman Kamala also kept saying, uh, you know, he's full of name calling and all of this. And and she was the one doing all the name calling. Mm-hmm. I think Trump did really well in regards to not biting on the bait that was being thrown out there to try and get him triggered. Mm-hmm. I think he did good in that aspect of it. But, you know, she, there was that bit where she had that complete pause because she goes, this man or whatever she said, like she, she was going to mm-hmm. call him a name and... But she was doing all the name calling. She was full of lies, and I don't know. Mm. He did bite on some things. I see people in the chat. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he did but a little. He, had to, he but... had to respond. That was the thing. Yeah, he had to respond. I mean, his his one comment of like, "You talked, and I got shot in the head over it." Like that yeah. was really good. Mm. That was that I was love, amazing. I did love the bit where he's like, "I'm talking." Sound familiar? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, that and that the best part about that was she can't ever like. I don't think they're going to debate again. She couldn't use it at that point. He stole it from her. So uh, yeah. that was that was beautiful in his part. And so That's I think, like I said, I think he up. did okay. But nobody, nobody watching that honestly changed the, their mind one way or another. The thing with the majority of these debates that I noticed, especially more recently, is that 
they don't address anything really. It, it, both sides, I'm sorry to say, but both sides seem to come across. Trump had to basically it's kind of like, defend himself it, a little bit. That's what more it's always so. been in a way: theatrics and just drama and mudslinging. I don't politics. think anybody. I don't think anybody who went into the debate changed sides in any way. Mm -hmm. shape or form. Yeah, I, I don't think, think everybody kind of just had their own viewpoints reaffirmed back to them. Yeah. Or made a yeah, or if the ones that weren't sure. You know who did make a difference? Made... Taylor Swift. Oh God! I was reading something before the stream. Bill Maher did it, uh, a segment on it, and I guess like four hundred thousand people registered to vote. No, four hundred thousand. Four hundred thousand people visited the website okay. that she linked to. That's not the same thing as people registering to vote. Okay, okay. I, I didn't. I didn't see that detail. Yeah. That's all he said. Is yeah. as they went to the. Thing and registered so they just looked at it but still yeah that's getting the people to click a link it's probably the in their mind and it has the like, post had like nine million likes or something like that yeah i guess there was a lot of men in that in that stat that's what he was saying i i don't i don't know if he's you know getting that from anything credible or what i don't know the details of it i just watched the little clip probably I guess, mostly bronies <laughs> like <laughs> He was throwing out a crazy number, like twenty-seven percent of that four hundred thousand was men, and that, like, he was he was shocked that she swayed them. And I was kind of too, like, I didn't know that, that many dead were like dudes were watching her. How would you know those stats anyway? That was the other I don't know, I don't know. I'm just going by what he said in that clip. Yeah, I would and hope that he has somebody breaking down shit for him from something. Well, yeah, like how like is the was if it required like a form to sign up and then they have to what acknowledge what gender they are. Otherwise, where would you get that detail? From? Also, I mean, I'm not sure that'd be a good idea to be disclosing that information yeah. when you're encouraging voters to sign up and you're like, hey, here's all the break, here's all the metrics of those people. Like, yeah, who are these dudes robbed. though? That that was the first thing that crossed my mind. If that's true. And there's a large portion of dudes that got swayed by Taylor Swift. It's like, <laughs> are, the first thing that crossed my mind is that they were gay. Yeah. But their girlfriends got swayed by Taylor Swift. Um, but apparently, Iraq was costing three hundred million dollars a day, or three hundred million dollars a month, or something. I can't remember exactly what she said. Mm -hmm. I'm full of lies, man. Just. I am surprised that a lot of people are swayed by her vote her vote endorsement considering her songs are all about picking like poor men and making like bad decisions in life. That's like, you're like two steps into the thought process. They're not making it past the first step. Sorry. <laughs> all her songs about are like about loser dudes that cheated on her and left. Her. <laughs> like, guys, what the fuck are you thinking? I've just seen this flash. Check this out in the private chat. I love that she called herself a childless cat lady, though. <laughs> yeah. Like, she's trying to make that a positive thing. Well, she's trying to, own, like, lean into it and make it her own. Is that true, though? Breaking uh, Taylor Swift has lost an estimated $150 million over the boycotting of her merchandise and memorabilia. No way. After no. she had endorsed Kamala Harris. That can't be true. No. no. That's... And, it, and for her $150 million, she could probably go, oh, well, and keep doing mm -hmm. her thing. It's true. I mean, that's a drop in the bucket for it. Yeah. Yeah. Because what's her I mean, getting involved now? in all of it is uh, it's so and it's funny because I don't think she I don't think she would have endorsed Biden. I don't I think, I think she, she knows her. Stayed, I think, think she, she knows her base. Quiet. Yeah. Her base is mostly you know, liberal white women, mostly all of them. All of them kind of have that mindset. They were all going to vote for her anyway. Doesn't it have more to do with her running mate, though, in the fact that, like, and his stance with LGBTQ stuff and everything? Isn't that why she's sort of endorsing Kamala? I mean, I think it's more to do with rah rah womanhood, but yeah, like, girl power. I, I guess, it, I mean, again, that's like you're, you're, you might even be giving them more credit than. Mm that level of thinking Fair to enough. actually put two thoughts, you know, two steps of thinking into it and say that it's not just like uh, until this election, I don't remember like in, in elections past, I don't remember people caring about vice presidents. I just don't, maybe I'm wrong. Here's that ad we were talking about. Let me play this from the start here. People cared a lot about well, Sarah. Tell you, I agreed with president Biden's decision to pull out of Afghanistan Four presidents 
said they would, and Joe Biden did. And as a result, America's taxpayers are not paying the $300 million a day. We were paying for that endless war. And as of today, there is not one member of the United States military who is in active duty in a combat zone in any war zone around the world. The first time this century. Wait, what? But let's understand. So where the fuck are we right now? <laughs> <laughs> Calling her out. I also love that she backtracked on her 2A stuff within 72 hours. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. She, she abandoned all the principles. Ban assault weapons now. The meaningless yeah. term assault weapon that doesn't actually mean anything. Yeah, it's kind of more of like cosmetic stuff for that <laughs> AR-15 they always want to demonize. I still want to know what she owns. She says she owns a gun. I, it's like that meme. Name four guns. Yeah. Well, and it doesn't matter. She it owns like... a Nintendo light gun. Yeah. Yes. Oh, <laughs> yeah. And it doesn't matter anyway. She's playing Duck It doesn't Duck matter Hunter. anyways because she's a politician. She's been yeah. covered by security for years. So it wouldn't mm -hmm. even matter if she uh, didn't own guns. She pulls it out. It's orange and gray. <laughs> yes. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> 